Hello crafters. This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with a Adorn It Stamp Ambassador package. This is the next recipe stamp of the month along with the recipe stamp add-on and beautiful paper pack. And these are designed by Diana Markham and can be purchased at Adorn It. And I do have a recipe page to also share with you towards the end of the video. Okay, let's get started. The main recipe will be the no peak beef. I have never even heard of this. <laughs> but the recipe sounds like an easy recipe. You get two pounds of beef stew, one can of cream or mushroom, some brown gravy, dry onion soup mix, no yeah. peak beef. So we have this cute cow and then the title, no peak beef. And then here is the instructions of how to bake it. Let so me give you a measurement. The other recipe stamps I know are like bigger. This one has a smaller size. So I can do a whole scene with this one. So cute. Three and three quarters of an inch wide by three and a half inch tall. Look at this. I love this little milk jug. Oh, just so cute. It says Dairy Farm. That one is two and a half inch tall by, let's say, one and a half inch. I love this type of stuff. You just don't know. And there's some daisies. I love that little mound. So cute. The add-on, just as cute. Cow is looking this way. Picture now the cow turned this way, like, hi. <laughs> That's cute. Three inches wide by... Two and a half inch tall. You also get hay there. That's like a cowbell with the hay there. That's adorable. You have milk, so you can use your milk jug. Oh, that's cute too. Or you could do a combo, I guess. This and this with the word milk and do a whole scene. And then you have all these accent pieces of these flowers, flowers, cute little flowers. Very nice. And these are all high quality photopolymer stamps made in the USA. Recipe stamp, recipe stamp add-on. If you are a member of the recipe club, you're going to be receiving this very soon. And if you have the add-on, there you go. There's also some papers. There's eight sheets here. This is a full eight and a half inch wide, 11 inch tall. These are pattern paper designed by Diana Markham as well. This is the pattern side. I'm going to flip it over. This is like the solids. Brown, check, a pink stripes and this powder blue polka dot print so you get this nice border piece that you can cut and do strips with this is perfect for my mini album page here with the flowers here love this black and white with the milk that's cute and of course the cowhide can't go wrong with cowhide <laughs> all righty so that's for the recipe club no peak beef up next here is my Second recipe page. So the last time I showed you that wonderful pineapple loaf and I had said that I'm going to make recipe pages. I am not turning these into cards, but I don't have an existing album to put them in. Once I finish enough of these recipe pages, then I will construct the album around these pages. So think of my recipe pages as layouts. So I'm really having fun with the whole layout thing. So this was my first take with the pineapple loaf. This is still available in store with the awesome add-ons for all summer fun. Then here is Tutti Fruity. Here is the Tutti Fruity stamp. This is a four by six. So this is almost six inches tall. I still have some more goodies from the a la carte tropical element stamp. I already stamped them out. Isn't that fabulous? Okay, let me get back over here. <laughs> I took out some Bristol Smooth cardstock, some Distress Ink, ink blended some clouds with my favorite cloud stencil. That's the Waffle Flower Slim Line Cloud Stencil. Love this stencil. By far favorite all the time. Produces bouncy clouds. Then here, the ground. That is with the pattern paper. The sand here in the back from that tropical pattern paper. And then from the front, I used the summer right here and I cut a little angle like it's a little banner I put some gems as you can see I was having fun I colored this up with my Olo markers those are alcohol markers just like Copics this teal colorway everything has a little bit of stickles some glitter some gems <laughs> some <laughs> glossy accents don't you love the glossy accents cherries and the strawberry 
<laughs> I was having a blast. And then I like to keep this center part kind of clear so you can read the recipe. I think that's important. The back here is that sand. This paper is so nice. I used the stitched hillside borders dye from Lawn Fawn. This is roughly, I think it's six inches long to cut that shape out to then have grounding for my beach scene. So it's a lot of fluffy, rainbow style, tropical clouds. <laughs> and then that ground with the paper. Did a little bit of light distress ink in brown for the sand. Then this is a new die set that I decided to play with. Oh, so love. A pocket full of happiness. This is a die line. I think it's designed by Joka. Now, Joka also works with Spellbinders. Well, she has her own dye line. She's over in Europe. Scrapbook.com has picked up this line. So there's a lot of her products now available at Scrapbook.com. I saw this Tropical Paradise and thought, this is so nice. I love the summer. If I didn't use this, I would have used this. Maybe my next example, I'll use this one. I did the hibiscus, layered them up. So you get the base and also the top. So you can make this like more substantial, which is really nice. You get the centers when they pop out. This hibiscus, the small one, one and a quarter. The big one, one and a half. So that's super cute. And then you get all these leaves, which I had put this tall one here. And then this short one right there. I just snipped it and it's really cute. Just cute. Having fun. On these, what you're seeing, the little small dots, those are my diamond dots. So I just pop some diamond dots in certain spots. This is also from the paper pack pink polka dot paper. I just stamped this part and then just fussy cut it and put it here and then bedazzled it. <laughs> Look at that. Well, it's summertime. This glass is now, this is from Tailored Expressions. I'll put the proper name here for that die set. Two and a quarter inch wide by three quarters of an inch. This little die set is a three piece die set. You get a base just like how this has a base. Then you get that layering piece, which is what I did in black foil cardstock. Then you get the top, the outline. Cute little glasses. So I'll put the name of that and I will link it below. I'm linking everything that I'm talking about here below anyway. And the Adornic goodness. I was also thinking of using Kat's Summer Fun Essentials die set. So this would have been nice too. It's not as wide as this, but I was thinking of putting the flip flops, but then I switched gears and did the hibiscus. I think this is just so cute. So, 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 so cute. Just a lot of fun tropical goodness. So you saw page one, now you're seeing page two. I like this, but I also like this. I think this would have been cute in here too. The tree with the drink, with the sky, maybe it would have been too much. I'm just having so much fun with these Diana Markham stamps. Okay, crafters, everything, like I said, will be detailed and linked below. And definitely check out the No Peak. If you go looking and you don't see it in store yet, it will soon be in there, okay? If you're interested in getting this one, you can also take a look at all the other Diana Markham goodness, especially that gingerbread, Christmas in July. Yeah. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.